and I'm coming to you with another weapon review. Today we are going to review the infamous Redrix Claymore, this pulse rifle. So let me start off by saying that I'm a weapon collector. So for me, this weapon was absolutely worth a grind. Um, I did solo most of it. Uh, so I enjoyed it. It was a uh, love-hate relationship. So that just pretty much describes my whole grind for the Raiders Claymore. If you are almost there, do not give it up. Go ahead and get it. So you will have this weapon as a collection. Uh, so, but anyways, I'm sure by now everybody knows the perks on this weapon. Uh, but I will go ahead and go over them anyways. Anyhow, the uh, our sights are going to be chambered compensator, which is a uh, increased stability, moderately controls recoil, and slightly decreases handling speed, uh, which I do not use. A corkscrew rifling, which is balanced barrel, slightly increases range and stability, slightly increases handling speed. Uh, this this is probably not a bad one to use. I'm big on handling speed, and it also does add a little bit of range. And last, we have polygonal rifling barrel, which optimizes for recoil reduction, increases the stability. Now, personally, anything, uh, most weapons I'm big on stability on. It does help me get my headshots better, and it, uh, for the uh, recoil reduction, it does keep your shots in a tighter pattern. So, this is the one that I use, and I do have a masterwork range on it. But you cannot go wrong I would choose either range or handling and the trait on this is going to be outlaw precision kills greatly decrease reload time and last but not least the main trait which is desperado reloading while outlaw is active increases your rate of fire now this weapon without the perk by itself is not a bad weapon um, I would say in terms of times to kill, uh, I don't believe it's there with the Vigilant Swing or the um, Graviton Lance, but nonetheless, it, it can hang with them in the right hands. Now, once the perk is active, this thing is a beast. Uh, now, as a hunter, when you perk this, there's either no one around or you're low on health and you can't really advance and to, to get the kill. So uh, maybe Warlocks and Healing Rifts or um, Titans who can take a little bit more of shots can get this thing to perk a little bit better. But in the right hands, this thing's a beast. So... And as always with my weapon reviews, we are going to use solely nothing but the Raiders Claymore. Some of you may find this review a little boring. I apologize, but it is the way I do reviews. I don't use any other weapons except the weapon that I'm reviewing. So I'll do my best to keep this video fun and exciting. And go from there. So while we're loading, I'll go ahead and tell you a bit of, about my experience about getting this weapon. If you have a good team who can win at least three out of five matches, uh, you'll get this weapon rather fast. However, this being uh, almost August, you really only have about four weeks to get this weapon. So you need a total of 2,100 Shax points to get this. But again, if you're almost there, I would recommend going ahead and finish it for myself. I'm a collector, and uh, no matter the perks, I would have got this weapon. And again, we're doing reviews for the Redrix Claymore. <laughs> and as you can tell, I've only killed two people with it. <laughs> um, I've, I've actually had it for about a week, but I was unable to log on due to real life work circumstances so 
this morning. This is the first time I used it on this particular character. I do have it on another character. Another account. Uh, let's see. We get the fortress today. You're pretty in dead zone for Earth. And let's hope I do not absolutely get destroyed. <laughs> it looks like we're going to have control. See, let's go ahead and go to A. Enemy claims zone C. Zone I'm gonna almost bet that these guys are gonna be traveling in a group, but Right off the bat, we got the perk. Did not keep it, however. All right, we got the perk thanks to that warlock rift. going here <laughs> in a minute it's a little odd playing this game after a week uh, I'm gonna switch so bad <laughs> All right, novel. It's the 3.0. Running around with the Titan fist. Nice retreat by that warlock. Knowing when to run is just as important when knowing when to kill. Don't be lost. This is a great team. Right. I think I'm not getting very many. We can hunt this guy down. And as you can tell there, it doesn't really <laughs> win against a vigilant swing too often. again the uh, recoil pattern on this thing goes straight up and on this particular um
thought he was dead. Thought he died. Falling right back into him again. All right. Okay. Zone a lock. We're gonna have to. Oh, leave me alone! I just want to kill that guy. Can't kill us if they're dead. Normally I would have rolled mine with a handling speed, but I felt the range was a little lacking on this weapon. Given the time to kill is not really that good when it comes to Exposing myself a little too much here. There you go. Okay. It was up above the door there. on there to for the Distance. Yeah, I wasn't getting any away from that. Like they are gaining on us here. We got to defer with full health. Let's we'll see if we can find somebody. So bad. Zone A locked. See it. Right. Oh, it's a warlock. It's not ours. It's We got it to perk, and there's no one around. <laughs> Grab this here. I'm trying to get a power play. Yes, they are, Shax. Thank you so much. Ha, 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 ha. 
Take that one right to the face. Myself a little too much there. Oh man. Nice. Nice job, team. Anyways, that's my uh, review of the uh, Red Dwarfs Claymore. This gun's fun. Impressive. Um, probably pretty impressive when you when you see it. I don't know. Anyways, um, 25 kills, 2.5 efficiency. Not bad for the, just the Radrix Claymore. It was tough, but it was fun. Hope you guys enjoyed this review, and uh, leave a like, subscribe, and hit the bell button. I try to do these a uh, couple videos a week, and uh, hope you enjoyed it. And this is Mark Ray.